Different cultures have their own folklore, urban legends and fairy tales, but if you've ever heard the Mexican tales you know they are a lot more horrifying and gruesome than most. These are the top 5 scary Mexican fairy tales, let's jump in. Coming in at number 5 we have El Cucuy. The legend of El Cucuy is one that is told to misbehaving children. It is said that there was once a man whose children would not stop misbehaving. He grew so angry with them that he decided to punish them by locking them in a closet. He then decided to go into town to run some errands, completely forgetting about the children. When he returned he saw that his barn had caught fire and spread to the house. The fire of course killed the children and cursed the man. It is said that driven mad by what happened he would spend his day searching every closet for his lost children. He did this for so long that he lost all of his humanity. He grew a hunger for children and instead of searching he began hunting, hiding in their closets. Children are often told that if they don't behave he will get them during the night. Coming in at number 4 we have El Duende. During the 1940s to 50s this tale was commonly told to keep children from going out at night. They would say do not go to the bush to cut firewood nor look for coconut husks or El Duende del Monto will get you. El Duende is a gremlin looking creature who lives in the woods. It is said that he has a hunger for children and will wait for them to wander alone at night for an unsuspecting mother to cross his path so that he would cook up their children for his feast. He only had 4 fingers and no thumb and it is said that if you ever see him you should hide your thumb. He will see you as his own and will leave you alone out of respect. Others say that El Duende is also a lover of the animals and if someone is killing too many he will also go after them, avenging the animals that have been taken. Although he is not as commonly heard of anymore people who know of his tale will warn you to never go into the woods at night whistling as this will call to him and you will not be safe. Coming in at number 3 we have the Siguanaba. She was originally called the Sihuet, beautiful woman. It is said that she seduced and had an affair with the son of the god Talok. She then became pregnant with his child. Child, but she was a bad mother and would often leave her child alone to meet with her lover. When Tlaloc found out about this, he cursed the woman and she became Siwanaba, meaning ugly woman. Sorry about my pronunciations. She would appear beautiful from a distance but as you got closer to her she would have the face of a mule. Since Kerr she now finds revenge on men who cheat on their wives. She will lure them away with her beauty to their death. She can often be found washing clothes in a river or bathing naked in any body of water. Once she has a target she will lure them away from their path deep into the woods. Once deep into the woods she will reveal her true face to them and plunge them into the water to wash away their souls killing them. I guess this tale is a warning from women to not cheat on your wives. Come in at number 2 we have El Silbon. El Silbon, also known as the Whistler, he is a former farmer who became condemned after committing a murder. While out hunting with her father one day they were closing in on a deer when he took out his hunting knife and slashed his father killing him. Once his grandfather found out what he did he ordered the other farmers to torture the boy. They whipped his flesh and then rubbed in salt and lemon juice to increase the pain. He was given a bag full of his father's bones to carry for the rest of eternity to remind everyone what he had done. The grandfather sent a pack of dogs after him to hunt him down. He was never seen again. It is said that once his spirit was damned he was doomed to roam the earth forever looking for revenge. You can tell when El Saban is near as he whistles while he walks. He will come to your door and count his bones. If he is ignored then your family will be killed. It is said not many have given a description of him as he kills most of his victims. Some say he comes after those who overindulge in alcohol, but I'm not sure how that links to his original killing. Also I overindulge in alcohol. Hasn't come for me. And finally, coming in at number one, we have La Llorona. La Llorona is a Spanish tale meaning weeping woman. The legend goes that she was a beautiful young woman full of life. She caught the attention of a wealthy man, and after making him win her over with gifts and affection, the two married. La Llorona gave the man two sons, but as time went on, the man lost interest in her. He began to travel for months at a time, only visiting to speak with the children. He seemingly no longer cared for her beauty, even talking about leaving her to marry a woman of his own wealthy class. One day, while out with her children she saw her husband in a carriage with a woman dressed in expensive clothing. He stopped, speaking only to his children, ignoring his wife. This drove her to madness. She grabbed her children and threw them in the nearby river. As she watched their bodies float downstream she had realised what she had done. She mourned them day and night. She would walk up and down riverbanks searching for her children. She would not eat and became thinner and thinner and even appeared taller. She cried endlessly as she roamed the riverbanks and her gown became soiled and torn. Still a young woman she finally died 
died on the banks of the river. Not long after her death, her restless spirit began to appear. Her weeping and wailing became a curse for the night, and people began to be afraid to go out after dark. On many dark nights, people would see her walking along the riverbank and crying for her children. Children are warned not to go out in the dark, for La Llorona might snatch them, throwing them to their deaths in the flowing waters. The tale differs from place to place. Some say she kills any in her path, others claim she only grabs children, dragging them screaming to a watery death. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? What fairy tale scares you the most? And what country do you want us to do next? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos Top 5 Scary Witches You Should Never Summon. Douglas McMillan said, Baba Yaga is pronounced Baba Yaga, just FYI. Believe me, I know. Everyone ripped me a new one when I left this room and they started talking about it when it was getting edited. But you know what? I can pronounce any way I want. <laughs> you're, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> words are words. Someone made that word up and I can say words any way I want to, you know? Words die with us anyway. Who gives a <laughs> Everything's fake. <laughs> Who created words? Anyone can create a word. Jenkins said, I'm tempted to do everything I shouldn't do just for curiosity purposes. I would agree. You should try everything once. Just not everything. Maybe some things. Most things. Most things once. Starbucks name Marvo said, I bet all of these witches are from Slytherin. I hope so. Slytherin is the best house. I bet a few are from Ravenclaw. I'm Slytherin, borderline Ravenclaw. I'm a bit both. I mean, I usually outright say I'm Slytherin, but I am a hybrid. It's fine. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later. It's all about children, apparently. Come in at number th uh, Siguan Siguanaba. Siguanaba? Anaba? Siguanaba? Come in at number three, we have the Siguanaba. She was originally called S Sihu. Sihuet? Sihuet? Sihuet. I'll say it fast. Siku Anaba. Oh, Q Q Q Q? Koi Koi? Q Q? Q Kai? Q Kai? Kai Kai? Q Kai? Q Q? L Q Kai? Let me just get the pronunciation up quick. Keep it going. L Q Kai? Pronunciation. El Kukui. <laughs> so far off. El Kukui. El Kukui. When he returned, he saw that his Ben. Barn. <laughs> ben. I was like, what's that word? He cursed the woman and she became Suana. Sihuanaba. Sihuanaba. Anaba. Sihuanaba. Oh, f Hell. Hannah she will lure them away and with her beauty she will lure them away and with her beauty to their death. Oh she will lure them away with her Oh she will lure them hell.